going to spot conceal with my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'm going to let this dry down. Now I'm going to mix the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum with the Sea Beauty Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. Originally, this comes in a dropper applicator, but that was way too messy, so I bought this little foundation pump on Amazon, and it just makes it so much easier to dispense the product. Some of the super gel. Mix that. Mainly apply this on the center of my face, and then just blend it outwards. Very natural coverage. And just a little bit on the forehead. I just love how that tinted serum looks on my skin. It looks like second skin. <laughs> so pretty. I'm gonna use the Wear Beauty bronzer stick in Happy Soul. Take it on a little brush. Just kind of go in the places where I normally bronze. Ooh, that's a lot. <clears throat> Take my brush again. Next up, concealer. gonna use two blushes today. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Virtue. It's one of her new shades. Glossier Cloud Paint in Storm. I'm just gonna mix it with the same super gel again just to kind of sheer it out and make it easier to blend. Like that much. I'm gonna place my blush in this area and then blend inwards. I'm not bringing it all the way here that I normally do. I'm just taking my clean finger and just slightly dispersing it outwards, but mainly keeping the color like in the center of my face. This will give you illusion of like a slimmer face. I don't know if you can tell. Like this side looks a bit slimmer than this side. I don't know. In my mind, I think it works. I don't know if it actually does make a difference, but it's cute, right? Now I'm going to take glossy cloud paint in Storm, and I'm mostly gonna put this where the blush ends, I guess. Okay, so our goal for this makeup is to look very fresh and dewy, not greasy and oily. So we need to at least set the center of our face so we can just keep the glow that's going on over there. So to set my face, I'm going to use the Perfect Diary Weightless Soft Velvet Blurring Loose Powder in Translucent. Which, by the way, thank you so much Perfect Diary for sponsoring today's video and for sending me a lot of their products. I've heard a lot of good reviews about their loose powder all over TikTok and I've always wanted to try it. This is what the package looks like. It comes with a little powder puff. There's this net which makes the powder finely milled and it feels super lightweight on the skin. This powder is perfect for under eye blurring and setting. This powder claims to blur imperfections. It's good for any skin type. It controls oil and makes your makeup last up to 12 hours and it makes your makeup smudge and transfer resistant. I also saw on TikTok that this powder is like waterproof. They sent me three shades, 01 Translucent, 02 Fair, and 03 Natural. I'm gonna use 01 Translucent because I still want the color of my blush to shine through. But I feel like these other powders would be great for baking and brightening as well. I'm gonna take some on my puff. I'm also going to pat off any excess, blending out any creases under my eyes. As you can see, I have some texture and obviously some shininess right there. Do you guys see that? I only set the center part of my face so I can keep this part glowy, but do you see how it blurred out my texture that was right here? Tapping off the excess powder in your hand will also help disperse the powder so it will be more even. There's lots of texture, right? It's so good. Shining this here. What shine? Oh, and right here as well. I tend to gravitate towards products that have blurring properties and this powder definitely blurred out my imperfections and my texture. Like, do you see how blurred out and flawless my skin looks while still looking natural? And it doesn't feel dry at all on my skin. It just feels very smooth and silky. I feel like this powder is essential to have during the summer. For my eyebrows, I actually want to keep it pretty natural. I'm just going to use this e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel. This is basically a tinted brow gel with fibers in it so it'll make your eyebrows look more full and fluffy. Brushing it in the opposite direction and then brushing it diagonally. Do you see the difference? For the more like sparser areas, I'm just gonna take the tip of the brush because that's where it has the most product and I have more control of where I wanna put it. 
Now, moving on to eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Perfect Diary Explorer eyeshadow palette. This is their cat version. Look how cute it is. I'm going to take my concealer brush again and just brush whatever is left on my eyelids as my primer. Ooh, there's like a little thing right here. I'm gonna use the brush that it comes with. I'm gonna take the color Dry Food as my base color. It's kind of like this khaki color. Next, I'm gonna take the color Pause. It's like this muted rose color, and I'm going to put that on my lid. With the smaller brush end, I'm gonna take ears, which is this like brown color, smoke it into my lash line, drag it out, kind of like that, on the outer part of my eye. For eyeliner, I'm actually gonna take the shade Silver Vine, which is this really dark brown. Use my finger to sharpen it line this inner part of my eye as well and then extending it to my inner corner now that we're basically done with the eye makeup we're gonna move on to mascara i'm also gonna try out the perfect diary sculpting glow face palette i'm gonna go in with this contouring shade too big around my nose so I'm gonna use the powder again I'm gonna use the blush in the palette as well like under here I'm also going to line my upper waterline with some brown eyeliner I'm gonna spray my face first before I put on the highlighter so it can stick on better Highlight this part of my nose. Oh, whoa. I'm gonna use some of this highlighting balm from Merit. It's basically kind of like a face gloss. I'm gonna put this like in the center of my eye right here. A little bit on my eyelids, my brow bone. And then a little bit on my cheeks. Perfect Diary also sent over their new tea extract glistening glossy lip stains and I'm super excited to try these out. This is what the packaging looks like. It's flat and rectangular. So this is 301 Jasmine White Tea. I don't know if you can see the stain but it's there. 303 Cold Brew Tangerines, 304 Iced Dripping Black Tea. The names of these lip shades remind me of fruit tea drinks from boba shops. This is number 305 Roselle and Rose Tea. And then the last shade that they sent me is 306 Estrogen Berry Oolong. I think for this look, I'm gonna use 301 Jasmine White Tea, which is like a light orange color. Pop my lips first. Ooh, that's pretty. I think I'm going with another layer. <gasps> that's really cute. Apparently if you wait 15 seconds after you apply the lip stain, it will develop this like film on your lips that will plump your lips and become smudge proof, waterproof, and transfer proof. So. I kind of want to test that out. I have my mirror here, clean mirror. <gasps> That's so cool. Only the gloss came out. And the color is still on my lips too. So that concludes my finished spring makeup look. I really love how it turned out. My skin looks so... Looks so good. It looks so blurred out. If you're looking for a good setting powder for this spring and summer that will make your makeup look very airbrushed but will also not feel dry, it'll last all day, it's waterproof and transfer proof, get yourself one of these. Thank me later. I'll leave a link in the description of the powder so you can get your own. Again, thank you so much Perfect Diary for sponsoring today's video and for gifting me all of these products for me to try on. 
talk to me. Bye. Love you.